Okay, you're in the kitchen with Cham Cham today. And I'm Boston Boy, hello. <laughs> hello. Now what are we making here today, Cham? Anytime we make tofu with raw pork and we cook with tomato. So it's stuffed tofu. I have maybe one pound raw pork here. And I want to a little bit of salt and onion chopped. So chopped onion in the ground pork, salt, maybe yeah. some pepper, yeah, garlic. Yeah. No? Yeah, yeah, Garlic all in the pork. Yeah. Okay, so it's almost like you're using the pork for, for pasta sauce. Cool. You just hollow one out. Now, this is a pretty firm tofu. Is there a Vietnamese name for this? Here we call Dao Ho. What is it again? Dao Ho. Dao Ho? Yeah. Okay. Dao Ho. Yes. Dao Ho. Sounds like down home. Dao Ho. So, over there you have in America, tofu like this? Well, we have many kinds of tofu, um, probably in certain shops you can get that. Um, we have a lot of tofu, it will say soft or firm, so you should probably find, this is very firm tofu, um, almost looks like cheese. But, you know, if you really want to make this home, I, I've had this a number of times, it's really good. Um, so if you want to make it, just find the firmest tofu you can. Yeah, we kind of want mommies in a bit of tofu, so I, I take out some tofu. So yeah, I mean you can use that tofu yeah. in anything else you'd like. You'd put it yeah. in a salad, uh, just cook it up with some vegetables, so it really doesn't go to waste. Very nice, it smells good. Actually, the, it does smell good. Oh, maybe that's the other stuff you made. <laughs> and this goes in a uh, tomato sauce. Uh, just a pan tomato sauce. Yeah, we need some ketchup. Ketchup? Yeah. Oh, really? To make the color. To make the color. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, we'll be right back when these are all stuffed. So we had a lot of extra pork here, so she's mixing in the tofu. I didn't even think of this. And I guess you could add a little lemongrass, anything you want, really. And she's gonna make meatballs, Vietnamese meatballs. Do you put, for the meatballs, would you put an egg in it or something? To hold it together, like we do Italian meatballs. No, I will put the meatball inside the sauce, tomato sauce, put together. Oh, they don't need uh, anything to bind it, okay. Italian meatballs and stuff, we put an egg and a little bread, it holds it together. Oh, different kind. Different kind. <laughs> it's Vietnamese kind. The Vietnamese kind, man. If you all didn't know that, Cham Cham can be a little punk sometimes. What? <laughs> it's like, what's a punk? <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we're gonna get cooking. Right here. Some oil. So a little vegetable oil. And you find it all cool up. Use whatever you like, olive oil, but vegetable oil, soybean oil is king here. Yeah. First, oh, all right, so meat side down in the oil. Down home, down, down ho, down, down home. home. <laughs> I try and associate Vietnamese words with something I know. Does it work? Sometimes. <laughs> you so. Smells good. So. Five minutes. Oh, it smells good. So we got back here. What did you make? Oh, we got something else going back here. This is uh, 
What kind of soup? Bamboo. Bamboo all the time? Yeah, she got, she went to the market, she got some uh, pickled bamboo shoots. We call them bamboo shoots. Yeah, but they're pickled. And then, oh. and just regular water? Huh? Yeah. Oh, there's fish in here. Yeah, she got some. Fish? Yeah, you got some sides of fish in there with the skin on. Yeah, the pickled bamboo, uh, some herbs. We got some what? We got some green onion in there, garlic. So all the flavor comes. Oh, oh yeah, we got some bun here, some rice noodle. Yeah. Say how about that or some rice? Yeah. What kind of fish do? So all the flavor comes from the pickled bamboo on the fish? It just makes like a stock. No, I use that with the salt and fish stuff. Oh, I'm going to taste it. Yeah, it's really good, huh? And lime. And lime, okay. Yeah. So, water, the fish, the pickled bamboo, too. The lime, a little yeah, sugar, it. garlic. Yeah. Wow. If you guys want the recipe, just uh, send me a message and we'll, we'll shoot it over to you. It's really good. Okay, let's get back to what we're making now. <laughs> got bit by the grease, did you? By the oil? I'll turn it down a little. So you only cook that one side? You don't cook it on the other sides at all? Just over and, uh, stuff. Oh, okay. So you're just browning it up here. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not cooked all the way through yet. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh, this looks good. Okay, so our tofu was out, same oil. And we got some garlic and shallot here. Yeah, garlic, that's shallot. We call it. If you don't have shallot, you can just use a little onion. Some very coarsely chopped garlic. Okay, so that's nice and browned up. We're going with your tomato. We're using plum tomato, Roma tomato, but you could probably just use regular tomato. Just make sure it's ripe. Get the seeds out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the tomato okay. so this is just like making um, a quick pan marinara sauce, really. Yeah, Yeah, it smells great. If I was making it, I'd use olive oil just because of the sauce. So now, now we're going away from the Italian flair. We got some chili sauce in there, and we got some Heinz ketchup. So we should put in about a quarter of a cup of each. How many tomatoes? A couple of tomatoes, two or three tomatoes, depending on the size, you know. Two tomatoes? Yeah, depending on the size, so. Yeah. Looks great. Hey, you could even slip a little wine in there if you want to, if you want to go the Italian Soy version. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. It's generous on the soy sauce. <laughs> Is this salty? <laughs> and you can do coconut water. If you don't have coconut water, so you can do water. Oh, you're gonna put yeah, you're gonna put some. water. Coconut water. All right, so, so that's why it's so much soy sauce. Still gonna put. here. Coconut water is available. Very easy. Coconut cream, very fresh. Um, so she's gonna use coconut water, but definitely use regular water, plain tap water, if you'd like. Or you can even use a vegetable stock, uh, a chicken stock. Put it 
about a couple. Yeah, about a couple. Yeah, about a small bowl. Yeah, so it's about a cup of coconut water or whatever you're using. And this is just gonna, is that it? Is that all that goes in there now? Yeah. Okay. And now you can put the tofu in here. Okay, so you're actually kind of making a braised tofu dish. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so now that we just put the lovely looking tofu back in. I first had this in a restaurant, the picture on the photo, I, I thought it was like a lasagna. <laughs> and then she made it for me, she made it for me a few times. Really good. think about it if you can't find the nice firm firm tofu you could make this like loose nut stuff you could dice up some tofu uh, fry it up a little bit you can do the ground meat with it um, and make it all in a sauce and eat it that way pretty versatile recipe yeah you see this in a lot of places here Vietnam, so it's very nice to make the meatball for Jeff, because I like meatball. I'm a meatball guy. Hey, yeah. uh, meatballs are all over the place here in Vietnam. You just don't know what they are. <laughs> and they're like little rubber balls. <laughs> you get all kinds of meatballs in your soups in here. Mystery meat, fish balls, pork balls. Um, could be rat balls. <laughs> I saw that thing, that documentary on, uh, on online. Some people using rat meat. But not only where you feel like Rats are okay to eat in certain parts of the country. In the rice fields, in the coconut groves, the rats are, are clean to eat because that's what they eat. They swim in the water, they eat the, uh, the coconut or the rice. Uh, I would not eat a Ho Chi Minh City park rat. <laughs> <laughs> You would die. Yeah, if you travel to the countryside, you can try to wrap there. Yeah, I had an opportunity last week to eat some coconut wrap, but we couldn't stay, unfortunately. So I'll get there. Wrap there, right from so they just rice or coconut. Right. So these these meatballs, these meatballs, they're just getting. Uh, they're getting braised. They, I mean, the, the the tofu. So they don't, you don't have to brown them first. You can if you want to. But the tofu looks like cheese. This smells really good, guys. All right, so you just turn your tofu a little bit. Be gentle, especially if your tofu is not as firm as this. And this is just a really low heat right now. Um, now, you sh now she's cranking it up to medium. Yeah, and when it's soft butter, so you can taste. If you want more sweet or more salty. Yeah. So how about how long do you cook this all together? Ten minutes. Total? Yeah. That's it? Oh, wow. Because the sauce is not much, you can cook too long. So yeah. Okay. Well, we will be back when it's a finished dish. All right. So, giving that one more flip. Color is nice. The smell is just insane. So the tofu was brown. I was just talking to Champ. Um, so if you get out and you find your firm tofu it will work fine you want the brown color it will actually firm it up more you just pan fry your tofu block or blocks uh, and a little bit of oil and you'll get that nice color that's what they do here and it actually makes a nice really nice texture So they, yeah, that cooked in like, it was about 10 minutes. You just plate some up. And we'll 
doing this with a side of just steamed white rice. This actually makes a very nice appetizer as well as a main course. I've had it as an appetizer in, in some restaurants here. This is something I always get if I see it on a menu. And you can use a canned tomato if you want to. Fresh is always better. Yes. chopped parsley wow and some scallion green onion look at that look at that Done. all right now you got boston boy i know <laughs> not as good but i'm gonna cham does the cooking today i'm doing the taste testing mm -hmm. so. that's very hard work for you yeah. No, that, seriously, I'm not acting or anything because I can't act. That smells amazing. Mm. Wow. Yeah. You definitely get a little bit of that pork fat coating your mouth. A little salty, but not overly salty. Nice little sweetness, but not too sweet. The tofu, because it's a firm tofu, it's not mushy at all. It's almost custardy, um, or similar to that of quiche texture. So, if you have a texture issue, that's kind of what you're looking at. Mm, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Definitely could look Italian, but definitely taste Asian the soy sauce and everything you know yeah that's real nice good job champ champ thank you <laughs> mm -hmm. well thank you for watching take two seconds give us a like a thumbs up not one of these one of these three of those would be good I no thumbs <laughs> we'd, we'd appreciate it again if you want to know more about the bamboo the pickled bamboo soup with the fish just send us a message we'll write you out a recipe if enough people ask we'll do a little video on it that's really good too tastes sweet and sour fish yes. stew is what you got over there and uh, hey man get out there eat the world baby okay we'll see you on the next video thank you bye Tim Tim mm-hmm Uh, just a quick side note at the end of the video just so you don't think I'm making Cham Cham doing all the work I'm making the bread <laughs> some's gonna be for pizza and some's gonna be for bread sliced bread how do I do that I don't have an oven I make microwave bread I make microwave quick bread and microwave toasty bread trust me it works and then Cham Cham just picked all the basil for me and I'm going to be doing some Italian pesto and some Vietnamese pesto that I made up. So, I'm, I'm cooking too. <laughs> All right, got to go.